Yo, this is Raz Hope with JVH Studios. Break the bar. Let's break down these bars, man. Yo, never been focused on poverty stricken, Moses toting guns, avoiding prisons. Uh, never been focused on poverty stricken, Moses toting guns, avoiding prisons. So basically, I'm just, I'm starting my verse kind of midway. So it's like I'm saying, I've never been focused on poverty stricken, meaning I'm not letting that bother me. A lot of us have been raised without, with, so, you know, don't let that stop you. And um, I go on to say, uh, Moses told and guns avoiding prisons, you know that's true. So, yeah, um, I think there's more after that as well. It kind of leads into more lyrics, so as we go along, I'll break it down. Never been handed a fortune or something from the dealership. Being broke gave me willpower to get the shit. They've never been uh, handed a fortune or something from, from the dealership. Basically, that's playing off of the never been focused on. So it's like a little little ring. Never been focused on, never been handed a fortune or something from the dealership. Which I've never been handed a fortune or something from the dealership. Like most of us, some of us choose to do wrong crime to get what we need. And some of us choose to just, you know, get a nine to five and do good. You know what I mean? Know the ledge, pledge allegiance, and patting a wave. I indulge in facts. Most frolic and fake, poverty rich. Most frolic and fake. All right, so the whole verse in depth is just me breaking down, you know, um, myself, bit of my past history, stuff my grandparents used to tell me when I was growing up, um, what I haven't, you know, misfortunes, etc. So all of that is like experience. So it's like knowledge. If you look at the word knowledge and you break it down, it's like no ledge, no the ledge. The ledge is like living your life to the limit. You know what I mean? So know the edge, know when to stop. That's whatever you're doing kind of thing. Plus know the ledge is based on an old song from the eighties, um, a prominent rapper called Rakim. His song was called Know the Ledge. So it's like a pay homage as well. You know what I mean? That's the same thing. Admire none the flyer ones just easier. <laughs> get aired out, border with Ryan, cuz bubble hate, get burst with a cupid arrow, cruise is vaginal, a lot of estrogen. No. The second verse is this me showing off as an artist. It's me proving to the listener, it's me patterning the wave. I'm setting the standard kind of thing. Or the bar, whatever you want to call it. Um um, yeah, it's it's competitiveness, isn't it? It's like no competition. If you watch battle rap, people watch battle rapping and there's always schemes, punchlines. So I'm saying after you go through your experience in life, whatever you're doing and whatever you want to aspire to do, you know what I mean? There's no competition. You have to kill everything. Just kill it. Whatever you're doing, if you're a teacher, a bus driver, whatever your aspiration is, have the same approach. So me coming in, I'm saying black attire, slacks, class shirts with the cufflinks, the wraps fire, get wrapped like tortillas and sent to the mortician. I'm sure enough, I'm, so I'm saying I'm gonna come through and kill everything, you know what I mean? And wear black, that's the colors you wear at a funeral. You know what I mean? But it's not killing people. You know what I mean? It's just being competitive. Border with Ryan, cuz bubble hate, get burst with a cupid arrow. Cruise is vaginal, a lot of estrogen, no experiments. Mask and glove plus the scalpel. It's all on top, see like an x ray. Night vision, eyes fiery like cyclops. Get a couple could dap daps like a cyclone. More kicks than Clark Kent, cuz I've got enough soul. Pressure points, seeing you to sleep like a drug induced. Sniffing lines off your iPhone. Whole scheme, yeah? Rhyme scheme, a rhyme, you know what a rhyme scheme is, right? Like, you know, like the scheme, you might, it could last a whole verse. So the scheme was, uh, it had more kicks than Clark Kent. You know, Clark Kent, the producer, you know what I mean? Uh, Clark Kent, Superman, but I got enough soul, soul, Clark Kent, trainers, cause he's a trainer collector as well. Um, Clark Kent, Superman, Marvel heroes, Street Fighter, you remember the side, who plays Street Fighter, you play Street Fighter? All right, so you know the Cyclone Kick, the Hadap, that whatever, it's just, it's a play on words kind of thing. Um, 
Cyclone, Cyclops from X Men. You know, he's had a fiery eyes, night, you know, night vision. The, the lyrics before that was X Ray. It's, it's just all play on words, kind of thing. If you're a lyricist, then you know what I'm dealing with, kind of thing. But um, yeah, uh, and another thing to add to that is there was a computer game called X Men versus Capcom, X Men versus Street Fighter. So if you're a fanatic like that, you're gonna hear it and it's gonna naturally jump out. But when you, like, if you're hearing the lyrics without you having to dissect it, you know what I mean? Who who's, does um, martial arts? You know, there's some people can put people to sleep by like, you know what I mean? Pressure points, um, send you to sleep like you're drug induced. If you're drug induced, a lot of times people are sent to sleep when they're drug induced. You know what I mean? Um, pressure points on your iPhone, you know what I mean? Pressure, you apply pressure point. That's how you use your iPhone. It's all play on words. It's nothing to go deep. It's like, okay, I'm linking words, rhymes, and making them make sense of each other kind of thing. So some of it might, you might hear and think, what's he talking about? Pressure points. But if you put it together, drug induced sniffing lines off your iPhone. You know what I mean? So it's not, it's not no, oh, it means this or means that. It's just the whole second verse is just me showing off as a lyricist, rhymer. This is what I can do. You know what I mean? That's basically it. Who the hat fit, let him wear it. Part of a habit, a veil suited for men with girl actions. They don't want Yo, none. It's probably sanctioned. Men with girl actions. It's similar to what that, the last guy was saying about being girly kind of thing. About the estrogen, people being a bit... Rather than me say, call a man out, P-U-S-S-Y. It's like, use another vocab. I say vaginal. Without being so, a person that's hearing it, rather than me say, "Oh, you're slow or whatever," I'm saying, "No, you're being very vaginal." You know what I mean? So it's it's the whole rhyme is still playing off the same scheme at the end of the rhyme. So I'm saying that a veil meant for men with girls actions. They don't want none. It's probably sanctioned. If you if you look at a nun, a nun wears a veil, and she wants none. A lot of nuns, virgins, etc. So it's just that whole second verse is a play on words. If you go and listen back to it, you listen to it and you can say, okay, I'm just playing on words. The song that we just wrote down is Know the Ledge. Uh, it's taken from the album Los Ochentas, or, or Los Ochentas, a Spanish for the 80s, produced by Clipper G, and written by myself. Coming soon, this is Break the Bar. My name's Rise Hope. And we're chilling with JVH Studios. Look out for the next Break the Bar in the future. Peace. Fully sanctioned. Know the ledge, pledge allegiance, and patting a wave. I indulge in facts. Most frolic and fate, poverty raised. The ways of the humblest brave. Aims beyond you rap, niggas reach. <laughs> know the ledge, pledge allegiance, and patting a wave. I indulge in facts. Most frolic and fake, poverty raised. The ways of the humblest brave aims beyond you rap niggas reach.